Festival and event from 2020 has left several people pushing for safe international travel and one travel blogger is showing that this is not only possible, but encouraged. Our Damien Sogren brings us more. Denise Weeks, a.k.a. Diva the Explorer, is a Caribbean-born travel blogger who shares information, insight, and encouragement with the global traveling community. She recently sat down to share a bit about her journey, her recent international travels during the pandemic, her solo traveling, as well as remote working from a tropical paradise. I would get a lot of questions from people like, hey, how did you start this trip? How did you choose this destination? And I realized that there was just so many people that were so curious about traveling. And so I decided to start an Instagram account just focused mainly on travel and everywhere that I, uh, all of the destinations that I travel to. So it started becoming this sort of like platform for me to document my, my travels. I gave travel tips to people and I would share some of the best places to eat or some of the best activities that you could do while you're on this uh, you know, crazy adventure. Although initially hesitant, she recently made an informed decision to take her first COVID-era excursion to Mexico and was pleasantly surprised with all the health protocols in place for tourists and locals alike. When I was flying into Mexico, even disembarking on the airline, they basically disembarked in groups. So like there was such a structure for how they they wanted to make sure that they were keeping their passengers safe. Down to when we got into hotels and restaurants, you had to wear a mask, so that was required, but you also had hand sanitizers that were given out to you by hotel or restaurant staff. And then I have even experienced in a couple smaller smaller states in Mexico where we had to get out of our car and actually walk through a sanitization thermal um, tunnel. There are measures that they are putting in place for the tourists made me feel more comfortable. After a mind-opening experience in Mexico, Diva the Explorer has also become a strong proponent of solo traveling. I, I do highly recommend traveling solo. I think it really makes you become more confident in yourself it makes you see things from a different perspective it allows you to um, get out of your comfort zone that you may not necessarily do when you're home in your own town um, i think you receive something that's like intangible when you interact with people from diverse cultures and you experience new foods and you do all of this not necessarily sharing it with someone but you're doing this by yourself, you're learning more about yourself and you're learning more about people. So to me, it's a win-win situation. With several tropical destinations currently offering remote working options for travelers, she shared some helpful tips from her own experience. Uh, first thing I would say is to obviously make sure you get approved from your boss. The second thing is making sure you have a very strong internet Wi-Fi connection so that you're connected and you're not there are no disruptions. In some of these countries, there are internet cafes. Um, I chose to just work straight out of the hotel and I actually submitted to the hotel that I was going to be working and I needed to make sure that my access was uh, strong. I think you want to pick a place where the food and the hotel are affordable because if you're deciding to stay for two weeks, you're going to have to pay for that hotel for two weeks and you're going to have to pay for food. So just make sure it's a location that is affordable and economical and within your budget. For more on Diva the Explorer's travel adventures and to receive valuable travel info, follow her on Instagram using the handle at D -E -E -V -A, the Explorer. This has been Damien Sogren for One Caribbean Television. All right, thanks, Damien. And still ahead on One Caribbean News, with a spike in COVID-19 cases worldwide, families are rethinking their holiday plans. How COVID-19 is changing how we celebrate, that's next on One Caribbean News.